feel like I need something new in my life, and instead of making normal human connections, I will be playing the Ratchelor. Yes, you heard me right, this is the Rat Bachelor. This is technically the Ratchelor season 2, there is a season 1 and 3, but I'm gonna start on season 2 because it looks very interesting to me. I feel something, you know what I mean? This game is free on itch.io if you'd like to play along with me, or you can just watch this and gawk at me and possibly contribute toward my therapy. Let's embark, I'm excited. Meet yourself. You are the Ratchler, a single rat looking for love. Oh, you know it, baby. You will meet many rats and choose who to keep, round after round, until you find true love. Which rat do you want to be? Oh, I love this guy's ear piercing here. Look at that, the heart. Oh, he's stunning, incredible. But the hats here. We have fashion. We have a small hat and a large hat. And the large hat will protect the small hat. It's like a symbiotic relationship. You know, the large hat finds companionship in the small hat, and the small hat finds protection. Protection. So that's very interesting. Love the color on this thing. Incredible. Those ears, the roundness, it's really giving avant-garde. I'm a fan. And then we have Axolotl, Clown, Seal, that one Pokemon. I love it. It's beautiful. I can't believe I just called Poplio that one Pokemon. That's really fucked up of me and I'm sorry and my apology video will be going up tomorrow. I don't know. I think I gotta go with the hats. You know, I feel very connected to that. That's like Emily Dickinson poetry to me. Onwards, please. Meet your suitors. Oh, we move fast. I'm meeting my suitors. Let's go. Select your seven contestants. Oh, we have quite the cast of characters here. Incredible. I already know this bitch is coming with me. Oh my god, yes. Zippy, an Aries. Ooh, I have Aries best friends. I don't know if I could do it dating wise. Love you guys, but I don't know if I could do it. Trying something new with my socks. Do I want to know what that means? Is the answer to that monetizable? Like, what are we talking about here? What did you do to them? Where are they? I'm concerned, but I do love that vest. Gorgeous. The sheer... Oh yeah, fashion designer. Zippy, love your look. A little concerned, but love your look. Lepix, an Aquarius. Squeak? Hell yeah, this guy gets it. This guy understands it. Squeak, motherfucker. That's right, baby. Fizzy wig. Oh wow. Oh wow. A Libra. I have a bellyache. God, me too. And I feel for you, Fizzy wig. I think we could really bond over that, but I don't want you to have to have a trauma based relationship with me, so we don't know. Moom. Oh, she's beautiful. Oh, she's beautiful. Do you see those ears, the plants, the blush? Wow. Oh, she's stunning. Are you kidding me? She's a cancer. Ooh. I don't know. I've met some good cancers and I've met some people who are cancers. So... Oh, hi. Do you like plants? Yes, I do. I just bought a plant, actually. I did. It's on my desk with me right now. You want to get married? Eggs. A Gemini. Oh, hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, Gemini twins. Seriously. I think we could get along. I love other Geminis. Oh, he's small. Back in the lab tomorrow. No. No, you are not because I'm saving you. You're coming with me. You're coming with me. Boy, boy, Mysterio. Bada bing, bada boom. He's a Scorpio. Oh, yeah. This guy knows how to fucking party. He's eating the rat poison and tripping off of it. Look at those sunglasses. Hell yeah, you never met somebody like Boy, boy, Mysterio before. You never do because they're always in the shadows. They always pick you. You never pick them. Baron Hotlands. Gemini. Ugh, wrong type of Gemini. Wrong type of Gemini. No, thank you. Can I help you ski? No. I scheme on my own, little bitch. I do things myself. Look at that rich boy haircut. He definitely eats fruit in the morning at Harvard. No thanks. Moderna? Like the vaccine? Okay, Sly. Sure. A Taurus. Ooh. Uh, ooh. Hey man, cool vibes. You're not acting like a Taurus right now and that scares me. Sharpie. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah! Go, Sharpie! Are you kidding me? Scorpio, I stream on Tuesdays and Sundays, and she's gonna break my heart. She's an e-girl. Look at that eyeliner, the lace goth collar. She is raking in 8k a month, and we both know it. We both know it. Martine! Oh, is she a ghost? Who killed her? No! I will get justice for you, Martine. Look how sad she is. Oh, she's so droopy. She looks like Max and Ruby on shrooms. Oh my god. Pisces. Oh, were you looking at me? Yes. I feel terrible, my friend. We will avenge you. I'll kill everyone in this room. Klaus von Maus and Ares. You're my crucial bar. Hell no. Empire. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, look at that face. Are you kidding me? A Virgo. Hey, cutie. Okay. Mm-hmm, no. 
Oh my god! Look at Ash. Is it Ashy or Ash? I'm gonna go with Ash. Aquarius. And she says, bzzz. Wow. Podalico. A Leo. Dream big, style bigger. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. Wow. Look at that pose. That is a strut. Who is talking to you? Who asked you? Me. I did. Show me more. Celery. The Sagittarius. What's cooking? Good looking. No. Boring. Amy. Check out my cool moves. Oh, she looks sinister. Oh, and you know I love to dance with the devil. And Aries, too. I could really be heartbroken by the end of this. Like, I don't know. That could be a risk, but I'm kind of willing to take it. Sim Samo, a Virgo. Watch out. Be careful. Oh, he's too much like me. Oh, no. It's like looking in a mirror. Ugh. I'm so sorry you're living like this, but I cannot multiply myself. I will be terrified. I will have to end it all. Sean Sean, Gemini, come fly with me. Oh, again, too much like me. Like, this guy is me. This is me. Look at that. Look at the moves. He's confident. He knows what's going on. Hate it. Blocked. Ultra rat underscore 3000. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that screen name. Look at him go. Hell yeah, Mr. Pisces. It's 2022. Ooh, I have bad news for you, man. <laughs> Peterson. Aquarius. It's very nice to meet you. Okay. Smitty. Capricorn. Can I add you on LinkedIn? Nope. Nope. Not him. Not him. Okay. Okay. I already know what I'm doing. No, thank you. I'm definitely taking Moom with me, even though we have some cancer vibes here. Boy Boy Mysterio. I think I gotta. I think Boy Boy Mysterio is gonna give me a run for my money, and I'm so excited. Sharpie. Certainly. Need to watch her destroy me. Esh, yes. Gorgeous. I'm gonna go with Martine, too. We have one more contestant. Whew. This is not going to be easy. I'm kind of leaning towards Potalico. Like, I feel something for Potalico, possibly. I do like Fizzy Wig, though, but I don't know if I can take that on right now. Ammy, though? Am? Ammy? I kind of want to get into the danger here. I think I'm going to go with Ammy. Okay, so for our Ratchelor cast, we have Moom, Eggs, Boy Boy Mysterio, Sharpie, Martine, Esh, and Ammy. If I pronounced both of those wrong, I am literally leaving. I'm never coming back. This channel is going to go vacant and it's all your fault. Chit chat. Oh, look at me. Are you kidding me? Look at my vibes. Oh, I'm taking up all the room. I am showing off on this beautiful ornate couch. Are you kidding? Look at Martine. She's beautiful. She's clear. I love somebody who's transparent about their goals. Oh, I have to make up a voice. Wait, are you talking to me? I can't believe it. You actually see me? Most people just look right through me. Oh, I'm so sorry, Martine. Thank you for opening up to me. I appreciate it. Oh, she loves me. She loves me. Mmm, you smell like flowers. Is that rose essence shampoo? Maybe some lilies in your conditioner? I really like flowers and you are so sweet, just like a flower. Oh, thank you. Why are all of these answers not enthusiastic? I want to be attractive to bugs. I want them all to come find me. I'm going to go with Nod. Thank you for the rat faces. I appreciate that. Oh my god, look at her. <gasps> look at the plants she brought with her. Are you kidding me? She's a front runner already. Moom, you are gorgeous. Wow, hi. I knew you would be beautiful, but I didn't expect you to be so gorgeous I could barely think. Wow, sorry. I promise I'm not always this awkward. You have a way with words, Moom. She's beautiful. Look at her. She's got hobbies too. We love hobbies. Oh, hell yeah, here he is. I cannot wait for this. I've been waiting to meet you, boy. Boy, boy Mysterio, can I shake your hand? Wow, this is gonna be the business deal of a lifetime. Bada bang, bada boom, it's me, I'm here, or am I? Maybe I'm over there, maybe I'm everywhere or nowhere. Either way, I might be here, but you're definitely here because I see you with my eyes. Yeah, nod, yeah, yeah, uh-huh, sure, thank you. Oh my god, I've been hit by, I've been struck by a smooth criminal. And I'm so calm. How am I so calm and collected with my two top hats? How? I would be breaking down in real life. Hey, yo, <laughs> that's so anime, boy. That special move was called a pirouette. So I'm on a volleyball team. I'm the captain. And this season, our team moved up a division. We are training really hard to beat our new nemesis, the Farrowers across the river. We never met them, but we needed a new nemesis since we left our former nemesis team, the Cheese Carriers, back in the dust in the C division. <laughs> that is a lot to consider. <laughs> Thank you for the juice. Oh my god, they found him. Holy shit. That is a shape. He's got his little hands together. Wow. 
eggs. It's good to finally meet you. Hmm, yes. I see what they meant when they talked about you. Well, I'll have to make my own decision, I suppose. Not a high five or you're making me blush. High five. Hell yeah. Oh, he didn't seem very happy with that. Oh, wow. Sharpie, look at that. Oh, she's got the demonias on. Are you kidding me, Sharpie? Are you kidding me? Take me away. Do you play video games? I play a lot of games on my phone and my Tamagotchi. I always have to be ready to flee at any moment, so I only purchase easy to transport items. I would love to hear more. I'm curious. What are you involved in? What's going on? What are you fleeing from? Is it me? Probably. I would love to hear more. Oh, she's happy. Okay, Slay. Who gets a rose? Oh, fuck. Oh, no. I have to eliminate someone this early? I have to eliminate two people? No. Okay, we're definitely not getting rid of Moom. Moom gets a rose. She was great. She was gorgeous. Boy Boy Mysterio really hit it off with me, I think. I think we really made a deal there. We really got something going. I feel like I could maybe be his mob partner. I'm thinking about it, you know, with a big fur coat. Boy Boy Mysterio gets a rose. I feel bad leaving Martine behind. I'll be honest with you. You know, for once in her life, she is seen. For once in her life, she feels appreciated, and I don't think I can leave her behind. I want her to know she's being taken care of, so she has a rose. Look at her smile. I made her day. Are you kidding me? Like, sorry, I can't leave her behind. Sharpie has to stay. I'm really intrigued about her, and I can't let go of eggs. He's so polite. I'm so sorry, Ami and Esh. I mean, I think we honestly could have had something. I just had to make a decision. I did make the right decision, though. Look at eggs. Look at him. My god. Let's continue finding love. Oh my god, she really just has a presence in the room. When Chrome Dino came out, you bet I was all over that game. I set world records. No one really noticed, though. Being so invisible and lonely felt like I was being knifed in the heart by a knife. Oh, you know, that's hard. Why are my options so bad? No, what if I'm interested? That sounds like a personal problem. I don't understand, and I'm not sure about that. These are all awful answers. These are all mean. I'm gonna go with I don't understand because I feel like that could be up to interpretation. No. Why? I didn't have a choice. I didn't have a choice. Sharpie, come back to me. Come back to me, Sharpie. I never meant to hurt you. At least Boy Boy Mysterio's here. That's all I can really ask for in my time of need. Hey, 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 now you see me, now you don't. Poof, what do you know? I'm a part of the show. Follow me for all the updates on the hottest clubs around. From the hottest square dancing to the smoky lounge, I got your nightlife covered. I know the perfect spots for new lovers. Yeah. Yes, I agree. Yes. Oh, Eggs is back. Hello. Oh, I can't get over that thing. I want to punch him at the wall. Lovingly. Lovingly and kindly, never with ill intention. Wow, you actually have a really calming presence. I feel like most other rats are screaming at me before I even sit down, but that might be because I'm sitting in the wrong seats. Anyway, you seem cool, but I'll have to keep thinking about it. I value you, Eggs. You have no idea. You know, you've really carved out a place in my heart, and I know you're skeptical. I know you're scared. I know you don't feel like you're ready for love, but I am. I'm ready. I think you have something in you that many don't see. And that is so sad. The world is so blind to you, eggs. I want to live my life in the valves of your heart, and I want to see you grow old. I think this could be something, but I need you to trust me. I need you to understand that I want this too. I value you. Oh my god, the girl of the year, she's back. This is gonna be a hard decision. Moom, I love you. Oh, these? These are some new plants I'm growing. I carry them in my arms because the nutrients in my fur act as natural fertilizer. The warmth from my heart makes sure my plants grow big and tall with lots of love. Oh my god, she doesn't just have a green thumb, she has a green heart. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that precious? I would love to hear more. Genuinely, Moom. What nutrients do you have in your fur? Will I grow big and tall if I hug you? These are all questions I have, and I want the answers to them, but only if you're allowed to share them. Um, I don't know if you signed an NDA or something, but we'll see. I would love to hear more. Hearts, I did it. I have Riz, everybody, I do. Martine, mean Martine, but not really. She makes a mean martini though, maybe. I don't know, can she bartend? I feel like if you're a ghost, you could bartend. That just seems like something
something that comes with ghostliness. Honestly, I'm not sure how I wound up in this contest. I was having a lovely conversation with a raindrop and suddenly a gust of wind sucked me into the pipes. Thank you for choosing me, it means a lot. Thanks for being here. Oh my god. This poor thing, this poor fucking thing. Martine, thank you for being here, I'm so sorry. Who gets a rose? Oh no, this is hard. Are you kidding me? Why? I can't break Martine's heart right after I told her I'm proud of her, you know? I feel like Sharpie and I didn't really get along, but I wanna give her a second chance. I wanna try again, but I feel like does she wanna try again? I wanna be very aware of her feelings but the only two I would be considering getting rid of are Martine and Sharpie, and I can't get rid of Martine, so I feel like it has to be Sharpie. <sighs> This is so terrible. Sharpie, I'm so sorry. I was confined. I wasn't allowed to tell you my true feelings, and that hurts me. It hurts our communication. It hurts our relationship, and I'm so sorry. Chit chat. Oh, he's up first. Wow. Look at this wallpaper, by the way. This candlelit area. He's talking. I should really read that. I go by eggs on a day to day basis, but I publish all my academic papers under the name Dr. Eggplant. Gives me more credibility in the field. Sounds more professional. They never ask what I'm a doctor of though, which is good since my doctorate program dealt with the effects of petroleum-based artificial food dyes with a focus on triaral methane and how to make it as vibrant as possible. That's not super related to the field I publish in now, but my research is as solid as a rock so I've never had a complaint. We've all done that. We've all had that before. I feel like that's a very universal experience and we could bond through that, so I know what you mean. I really do eggs. Oh, he's happy. Good. He understands. He needs somebody who understands. Boy, boy, Mysterio, we meet again. How you been, buddy? How you feeling? You got another top hat for me? I don't know if you looked at my likes tab on Twitter yet, but I am prepping for a really big bet. Me and my rat pals are getting information at the club. We are the next sensation. Just ask Baron Hotlands and Jagadoo. We are professionals. Mystery is what we do. I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for you, boy, boy, Mysterio. You know, I've just never seen somebody with your tenacity, your drive. I'm so happy for you. Look, he's happy too. He's winking. She's back. The angel. She's the world to me. Wow, thank you for inviting me on another date. Can I tell you more about my hobbies? Of course. I love hearing about people's hobbies. That is the best thing to me. Tell me all about your hobbies. I will listen intensely. Every once in a while, I find a worm when I'm gardening, and sometimes the worms are sick. That's why I started my worm rescue, where I heal sick worms. Oh, she's the one for me. Oh, she's the one for me. Oh my god. Are you kidding? A worm rescue? That is my dream woman. Rescuing worms? Do you know what you're doing for the worm community? Do you know? God, I value you, Moom. I do. Seriously. She loves me. Oh, Martine. Oh, Martine. Oh, I feel bad. Jesus. Oh. People think being a ghost would be fun, but it's kind of lonely, actually. I mostly just fly around and visit people who are happy and in love. I've always wondered what it's like to be in love. Oh god. I feel so guilty. I'm just not into it and I feel so guilty, but I did invite her based on guilt, which is my own problem. You know, that's my own fault and I shouldn't have done that. That's a lot to consider. Oh no. Oh my god. I have to eliminate Martine, don't I? I don't want to though. Seriously, I don't want to. I would feel terrible. I would feel just awful because I dragged her into this. This is my own fault, but I can't let go of Moom, Boy Boy Mysterio, and Eggs. I just don't know if I can. Like, I see a future. I, I have to let go of Martine. I'm so sorry. I'm the worst person alive. Ugh, I'm so sorry. Oh my god, chit chat, whatever. Fuck you. I'm tired. I had to let go of Martine and I feel like the worst person alive. I think I should go to jail. Now I gotta do the Boy Boy Mysterio voice. It's a really sad day for all of us, I think. Wahoo, I'm looking my best, feeling even better, and I'm taking a rest. Just the other day I was roaming the night I put my inhibitions down, I felt so light. Only then can I be the true me, I take care of flowers like a little bee. No one knows this, don't tell anyone. The next dark night, would you like to join me in the community garden? We will have all the fun. Boy Boy Mysterio wants to fuck. I don't know if I'm ready for a physical relationship with Boy Boy Mysterio, specifically. I don't know if I can handle it, you know? I don't know if I can handle it. High five? Hell yeah, brother, get that? I don't know. 
They fucking multiplied. Oh my god, there's multiple eggs now. Guess who I brought to meet you? My siblings. Actually, I don't know if you noticed, but my twin, Goldenrod, stepped in for me on our second date. Unfortunately, I couldn't make it in time due to prior commitments. Are you kidding me? I've been fucking bamboozled! No! Eggs, I thought I loved you. I thought you loved me and you send in your brother? I'm hurt. I'm incredibly hurt. What, you think I didn't notice? I didn't, but you think I wouldn't? I'm so sick to my stomach right now. We're a tight-knit family and always help each other out when we can. Back in primary school, I always sat for Goldo on exam days and we both ended up acing the class. Oh, and this is our taller sibling. They are thrilled to meet you. They're a big fan of the show. Oh. <laughs> I don't fucking care. I understand, Eggs. I understand that you hate me. I understand that you don't want me anymore. I can't believe this. Moom, comfort me, please. I need you right now. Desperately. I've been betrayed. I just got back from tending to the worms, and guess what? The worms threw a party for me. I couldn't believe it. They've grown so strong, and I get overwhelmed by how amazing they are. They sang a worm song about me. They make sounds by rubbing their worm bristles against each other. It's very quiet, but it's there. You want to meet them? They would love you. They played her a worm song. You don't hear about that every day. Oh my god, Moom. Only you would be somebody who has thrown a worm party. Only you, and that's because your heart is so pure. Your intentions are so good. You are so kind. You are so beautiful. You're making me blush, Moom. You really are. I have never met a woman like you, Moom. Look at her. Wow. Who gets a rose? Not fucking eggs. Sorry. Maybe you should think before breaking my trust like that. Maybe you should. Maybe you should think long and hard before you send in your twin. Because I don't take to that kind of deception lightly. Eggs. I don't think that shit's funny. I don't think you played a funny prank on me. I think I am heartbroken. Because I thought we could have something, Eggs. I felt an instant draw to you. And you've broken it. And I should have known you would. Because I always get put in the dirt like this. I'm so tired. Continue finding love. Fuck you, Eggs. Fuck you, chit chat time. Oh my god, her flower bloomed! Is it because of our love? Am I making her bloom? That is so beautiful. That is so poetic. Nobody touch me right now. Guess what? One of my flowers bloomed. I must really love you because all the love from my brain got sucked into this flower and it now has a beautiful blossom. I've never felt this way before. So calm and so loved. You're a keeper. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Look at that display display of love. Look at that. We're getting married in the spring. Me and Moom. We're getting married in the fucking spring and I'm so happy about it. I am so excited. I cannot believe I found my soulmate. Whoopee! Wahooey! Anyways, truth or dare. My truth is that I have four thumbs, two on each finger. It's not a secret, but I don't tell anyone. I'm not insecure about it though, everyone knows. Baron Hotlands said it was one of the more unique skeletal features of mine. Yeah, everything about you, Boy Boy Mysterio, is incredibly unique unique and that's fantastic and that's what really draws me to you. You know, I feel like there's nobody else in this world that can match my energy like you can, Boy Boy Mysterio. You really brought it and I feel so bad that I may have to make a very horrible decision soon. I love you, Boy Boy Mysterio. You fill me with joy. Thank you. Thank you for being here, Boy Boy Mysterio. Choose your soulmate. Look at this beautiful garden. A beautiful garden that Moom would love. She would adore this. She would be so full of joy at seeing all of the prospering flowers, the beautiful statues, the night sky. And that's why I do have to bring her with me today. That's why I found my soulmate in Moom and her worm farm. Every single one of the worms, I've kissed them lightly on the forehead. I never thought I would find love like this and I'll never be lonely again. Moom, I am so happy to see you here. I am so glad that you spent time with me, you looked for me, and we found each other. We were always meant to end up like this. This is the best night of my life. Moom, you get the rose. Propose to Moom. Look at that smile. Oh my god, both of the hats off. Wow. Look at her, look at those eyes. She looks stunning, and she's in her worm farm. 
Wow. Wow, I can't believe it. All of my flowers bloomed. This has never happened before. I'm so happy and in love. This must be what it feels like to be with my soulmate. I love you. We made something so beautiful. We're healing the earth together. She is stunning. She is just glowing. Moom, I love you. Where are they now? Ooh, let's see. Boy Boy Mysterio and Baron Hotlands realize their feelings for each other and are more than they ever imagined. Oh, thank God. The homoeroticism of this. Are you kidding me? And I'm so glad I didn't stop them from finding each other. That makes me happy. I'm worried about this one. Martine finds somewhere to call home. I hope she's happy. That's not a good enough resolution for me. Potalico graduates with another PhD. Good for him. Simsamo wins the national staring contest. Against me, really? I can stare for hours. You want to try again, Simsamo? Because I will beat you. Smitty went to buy shoes and found love instead. Oh, congratulations, Smitty. The moon is full, so are Zippy and Ultra Rat's hearts. Oh, good. Good, that's beautiful. That's stunning. I'm so proud of everyone. This game was so much fun. I love The Ratchler. I'm a big Ratchler fan now. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you want to play this game for free or donate to the creators, please donate to the creators. It'll be linked down below. It's on Itch.io. Thank you so much to all of my members. I appreciate you guys so much, and I will see you next time. Stay safe, stay wonderful, and goodbye.